Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John Math Tube. In this video, we continue with double integration, but in the polar coordinate system. Okay, so the question goes like this. Evaluate the double integral, the region r cube dr d theta, where the region r is the area between, is the region between, r is equal to 2 cos theta and r is equal to 4 cos theta. Okay, I told you in the last video about polar curves and I gave you two reference videos um, so that you will get a very clear idea about the polar curves which you learned in the first semester of mathematics. Anyway, uh, this is a standard equation. Yesterday I introduced you to a few equations r is equal to a, r is equal to a is a circle with center pole and radius a and then r is equal to a cos theta that is a circle with diameter in the initial line and the diameter is nothing but a and finally r is equal to a sin theta that is also a circle with diameter a. Okay, so it is obvious that they have given the area between two circles. So I am going to draw the two circles in the polar system. The diameter of the first circle is 2 units. So the circle might be approximately like this. And the diameter of the second circle is 4 units. Okay, so we have a rough figure and unlike uh, the question from the last video, it is not mentioned above the initial line or below the initial line, nothing is mentioned. That means we have to go for the entire region and I will show you the entire region, I will shade it for you. So this is the required region and go through the bigger circle and subtract from the lower circle. So look at this, this is the region of integration and I remove it. Okay, the method is very simple. I told you yesterday, you have to take your pen. You have to take your pen and you can keep it like this and just sweep, just sweep uh, like sweeping with a broom, just sweep throughout the region of integration. You will get a clear idea how much angle will be described. So look at this, I am just sweeping, I am just sweeping and I can see that the height is also changing. So your job is very simple, just sweep, so it is obvious the angle starts from here, it is obvious the angle starts from here that is minus 90, so the angle starts from here minus 90 and goes to plus 90, so the angle goes from minus 90 to plus 90, so I am going to write theta varies from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Now comes the second thing that is the strip. Now look at this. It is impossible to make a strip here because this part is not included. So the strip will not start from the pole. So remember it is impossible to make a strip from the pole because that is not included in the region of integration. So I have a plan, I made many many strips, instead of uh, the angular strip I made arrows and as I told you yesterday, in polar coordinate system we never draw vertical strips and horizontal strips, we just go for angular strip. Okay. So this is the region. So you can see that if I make any angular strip, it will start from the red circle to the blue circle. 
red circle to the blue circle. In the required region, our strips, our angular strip will move from red circle to blue circle. Red circle to blue circle. So, that's it. So, it's very easy. Our region, our value of R will vary from red circle to blue circle. Now, red circle means the value of R is 2 cos theta. And the blue circle means value of R is 4 cos theta. So, that's it. So, our integration will be from, I told you yesterday, we put theta first because in most of the problems, theta will come constant and r is equal to r cube dr d theta. And as always, yeah. so it is obvious we are going to integrate with respect to r and we get theta varying from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 r cube integrated gives us r to the power 4 by 4 where r varies from 2 cos theta to 4 cos theta d theta and I will put a circle for the plug in variable so that you will feel comfortable. So, now our job is very simple you plug in the upper limit so that will give us 4 to the power 4 cos to the power 4 theta by 4. I did not keep 4 outside, it is ok. Minus 2 to the power 4 cos to the power 4 theta by 4. So, 1 4 will get cancelled and here 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So, there will be cancellation. You can use a calculator and check it. 64 cos cube the power 4 theta minus so that will be theta is equal to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 60 cos to the power 4 theta d theta and look at this the 60 goes outside and I think you remember the reduction formula, beta gamma function etc. But there is one problem with beta gamma function and reduction formula that the integral should start from 0 to pi by 2. Ah, we have an advantage. Do you remember the property? If the limits are from minus a to a and if you have an even function then integral minus a to a will be 2 times 0 to a. Remember, you can apply this property only for even function and cos to the power 4 minus theta is even function because if you plug in minus theta, then it comes positive. Okay. So, I had to multiply by 2 and I had to write 0 to pi by 2 so that I can apply shortcut. You can apply reduction formula or beta gamma function. Anyway, when cos uh, or sin is alone, then reduction formula is the best technique and it is so easy to write. Just write 4, 3, 2, 1. Now remember, if the power is an even number, you should put one additional pi by 2. If the power is an odd number, you leave it as such. That is it. So, the answer is, uh, you can simplify it. I already have the answer 45 pi by 2. You can check it. So, this will become 15 and this 2 gets cancelled. Yeah, 45 pi by 2. Okay, now let us do one more problem and wind up this video so that we can start with the most important part and the most repeated question change of order and change into polar from the next video. So, the second question, evaluate the integral, double integral over r, r square sin theta dr d theta, where r is the region above the initial line and it is a semicircle. Now, I am sure that you are familiar with this. So, I am going to draw the region. That region is simple enough. 
we have a circle with diameter 2a and the circle will be something like this so I'm going to erase the part below the initial line because they have clearly mentioned uh, it, it is above the initial line so I'm going to take you can put your pen I'll take my arrow and I'll show you look this is the required region and the angle varies from 0 to 90 so look at this in the required region angle varies from 0 to 90 so I'll settle the angle part first I'm going to write theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 now the second thing to do the angular strip you can see that you make any angular strip you make any angular strip it will be from pole to circle so r varies from pole to circle and that tells me r varies from 0 to the equation of circle is 2a cos theta so now we have the limits so i is equal to integral theta is from 0 to pi by 2 and r varies from 0 to 2 a cos theta r square sin theta dr d theta now the inner limit belongs to r so we are going to integrate with respect to r so i is equal to integral theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 sin theta will be a constant and we have to keep the constant here don't forget it so r cube by 3 where r varies from 0 to 2a cos theta d theta now as always I will spot the plug-in variable so we get theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin theta and I am going to keep this 1 by 3 outside I think you can see 1 by 3 3 is in the denominator so it goes outside the integral now plug in the upper limit uh, 2 cube that will be 8 a cube cos cube theta minus 0 d theta now that will be equal to uh, 8 a cube goes outside integral theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 cos cube theta sin theta d theta now look at this there are two options if you want you can go for the simple method substitution because I can see function and a part of the derivative and another method my favorite method because it is from 0 to pi by 2 I will use beta gamma I can I have two methods I can use the reduction I can use beta gamma but beta gamma will be easy if you have product of cos and sine. If you look at the earlier problem, the previous problem, uh, it was not a product of cos and sine. It was only cos or it was only of cos sine. And when you have only sine and only cos, reduction will be easier. And when you have a product of cos and sine, beta gamma will be easier. So here we go, the formula 1 by 2 beta, 3 plus 1 by 2 and sine means sine to the power 1 so 1 plus 1 2 by 2 1 and we get 8 a cube by 3 into 1 by 2 gamma 2 gamma 1 by gamma 2 plus 1 and that will be 8 by 3 a cube into 1 by 2 gamma 2 is 1 factorial gamma 1 is 0 factorial gamma 3 is 2 factorial which is 2 and that means the answer will be okay 2 by 3 a cube okay so that's it my friends so if you like the video please like share and subscribe and i'll be back soon i'll be back with a very important topic that is change of order so till then my friends bye